Hey there everybody, welcome back to Airbrusher Games and Art. How you doing today? I'm glad to have you. Thanks for coming in. Well here we have some Star Citizen going and I thought since the uh, Avenger variants are coming out soonish that um, I would go ahead and take a look at this thing and give some thoughts on the current build as it is right now and some of the stuff I've noticed and some questions I have on it. First of all, the Avenger. Um, I had this ship for a while, way back when we were just doing the hangar. And I was waffling between this and the uh, Cutlass. And I decided to go with this. I had the Cutlass for a while. I flew it and uh, in its current form. I think it's just a, a different beast than what I need. Um, I'm going to be predominantly a single player or solo I should say because everybody I was going to hang out with um, either doesn't hang out anymore or they have no interest in playing the same games anymore so kind of hanging out on my own I bought some stuff that I was going to build my org up with that I'm kind of stuck here with at the moment and I need to rethink how I'm going to play the game because you know we have so many options in the game that hey it, you know it works out really good so we'll see how it goes and uh, so the Avenger I like it um, I just bought it back because the variants are coming out and I flew it for a little bit first before I was gonna make my final decision to keep it because I just had had the uh, Cutlass and so it was real fresh in my mind to compare it and I think the Avenger is much more what I'm looking for you know it may have a much more modest cargo capacity than the Cutlass does but when you're kind of by yourself a lot um, the cargo capacity is I think a m much more befitting for a solo player you just do a lot of hauling you know if this is the size I do have uh, my Connie Taurus back I did have the, uh, the um, what you call it, the um, Starfarer, but it's just too much for how my how my game is going to start going as a solo. I might go with the uh, Hall B too, but that'll be in game maybe. We'll see. I, I like to know if the all these concept ships that have been coming on sale as an add-on ship if they'll come in later as a package before they close that down because I might trade in my Connie for uh, a Hall B if, you know, depending on what comes with the package, you know what I mean? But anyways, the uh, Avenger here is just a, so maneuverable, I really like it. Um, what I don't realize yet, and you'll see in a few minutes, I'll, it'll kind of pop in on me and I'll, I'll see what's going on, is I have one laser gun in my cannon. And uh, what happened is I put, um, badgers on it and for some reason I think what's starting to happen is if your power plant can't handle powering everything and, and plus the big guns it'll kick off until you know kick weapons off until it's within its parameter because I was putting both you know badger on both hard points under the wing and um, it would show it on the the uh, the hollow uh, viewer and then I turn the hollow viewer off and there'd be a gun missing I turn the hollow viewer back on and, and indeed it was gone then I was doing this and it just and I thought I got it to stick and I came into the game so I got one one badger on the right side and my my uh, tiger that's on strike in the middle of course and I do fairly well with it um, it brings up the thing about the current build. Now they're talking about how it's much more lag free and all that bullshit. <laughs> and uh, I think, and also, um, my computer exaggerates how bad it is because I have an older quad core CPU, AMD CPU. Actually, it's a APU, but I use a video card. And uh, it does not at all like this game it, it my APU uh, sheds a tear when I start to to click this game on it just it starts to cry and it knows what's coming and so that's going to change very very soon um, because I've been buying parts 
off and on to put together a new computer and that's coming so but my computer is really showing how bad the lag is because before the patch um, I wasn't you know getting 80 frames a second and all that you know I was but I was getting 20 to 25 and now I'm getting 15 to 9 frames and you can see it because the bad guy can literally and there I, I go oh shit I, I only have one gun <laughs> um, I, I realized that my um, that the bad guy is literally because of the lag flying in between the rounds and so I would be shooting at him and you'll see the pippers right on him and I miss and it's because of the lag and so my computer exaggerates it but I think it's a good thing because then you can look at this and really understand what the lag is doing even though you may have much less lag than I am um, it kind of shows what's going on so maybe for whatever you're trying to do with your computer you can take from this to help you out so I'm at quad core and I'm going to be going to eight cores but as you can see I'm killing stuff but it's just you got to get that concentrated fire long enough to, to do the killing and they don't even have armor installed in this game yet there's no armor the armor that our ships are supposed to have is not applied yet so if you guys think it's hard now when they did the balance pass from the weapon to the to the uh, shielding to the ship health wait till they add the armor all you people out there think that all this is going to be nothing but dog fighting or in for a real rude awakening because um, yeah it's going to be really hard to kill somebody in their ship I think but in the Avenger, I really enjoy being in it. It's got a very 300-ish uh, um, feel to its handling. And it just turns on a dime because it's got these huge thrusters. And, um, but, you know, again, as you can see, the little minute corrections I have to make, especially it's, it's really shown when they're flying straight in front of me. And I, my little pipper is just going everywhere because I'm trying to hold it. And the more I try to hold it, the worse the lag uh, um, delay makes it. So, yeah, I, I do get used to it. And you see me not doing as much here. I, I just, my brain kind of wraps around it. But I do miss much more than I, I think I need to. And there's two things that I wish Sig would do. Please keep the Vandal from flying up to the edge of the uh, boundary and around the terraformers. I think it's it's unnecessary because we have to do everything else and these dogfights go on forever now. Exasperating it with, you know, trying to now miss other stuff. And there's, you know, the asteroid field. So there you go. I think they would do very well of trying to keep the, the Vandal kind of in, more inside the parameter instead of taking them right to the edge or right around those terraformers. But I'm, I have the Avenger now. I'm going to look at what the variants are. I got it so I can CCU it if I like something better. Otherwise I'm just going to rip the uh, the prisoner, what you call them, prisoner cells or whatever that are in the hold right now. I'm going to rip those out. And I'm just going to be a fast, maneuverable, light um, cargo. And because I have this as also effectively as a fighter, and I have a gladius also, I can, if I make friends, I can get um, some escort going with maybe my hull or my Taurus. Well, anyways, let me know what you think of what I've been talking about. Thank you for joining me. It was a pleasure having you. I appreciate it if you hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And keep joining me because I really do enjoy making these videos for you. This is a great game. I hope you're going to stay with it and stay with us. And there you go, folks. Thanks for your time. Until next time, my friends.